Hey guys, it's Daddy Diamond Boy here, and today I thought instead of making the gaming video, I'd show you how to make breakfast this waffles. Now, uh, uh, I have got 200 grams of plain flour. I have got a uh, uh, four or, or, or teaspoon of baking powder, 30 grams of caster sugar, two uh, large eggs, and I've got uh, 250 mils of milk and 50 grams of melted butter now to begin with you mix all your dry ingredients together i've already and, I, and you mix them together make sure they're all, all well mixed then you take your eggs and you and you separate the yolk and and the whites and you put the yolks with the milk in here as you can see I have done that okay there's two yolks in there and then you mix them with a fork here you mix them with a fork I am heating up and I'm going to be using it for the first time in, and I'll hopefully I'll get a few pointers is because it's my first time using it. Okay, so that's that. And then you mix it, it in with your dry ingredients. You're pouring a little bit at a time. Okay, and then you add your melted butter to it as well, and you mix that in. Make sure it's all mixed in and not uh, uh, sitting on the top, so you really stir it in. You can use a whisk. If you, you want. Okay, I think that's pretty stirred in. Okay. So, and don't, by the way, don't throw it in your egg whites because you'll need those as well. My trusty assistant here it has whisked up my egg whites for me. And as you can see, this is how you whisk with furious intent. And then you add that to your mixture as well. It looks really cool, I think. And then you mix that all in as well. Now, guys, when you're using a waffle iron, the when the first wall comes out and you see it, don't actually judge as you're cooking straight away, because always the first ones will look horrible. Uh, Make sure that's all mixed in. Get up, get it from the sides, and I'd say that is ready e e to be put in the waffle iron. Now, butter your waffle iron with some of the uh, uh, remaining butter and then you take your uh, own mixture and you take a you can get one of these ice cream scoops you take a dollop of this this is probably enough okay and we don't want to spill any and take it over and put it over Take another dollop, the second one, and that's perfect. And then we close it. And then, if you have one of the ones like us, these red lights and blue green lights will tell us when they are ready. But uh, you should really cook them for two minutes or until they're like uh, uh, very quite golden. 
not too brown. So we can wait and eat. And guys, these make about five if to four oh, pancakes. It's four if you're making them big. I'm making medium ones. And it, as you can hear, you can hear them cooking. And the real light should tell when they're ready. But for the next time, I'm, to make sure they don't burn, I'm going to put the timer on. Just so I know. Now you can serve them with many e e ingredients like jams, cream, you can have them with bacon, which is actually a really good something to have, trust me. But uh, the best way I think you should have them is with raspberry jam and the squirt of cream, because that's an absolutely lovely dish. Or bacon. Make sure you don't have it crispy because just normal cooked bacon is works best. Some of you may like it very crispy, but uh, uh, my mum's favourite uh, uh, would have it with, with some syrup. Old favourites always have syrup with uh, waffles, but this is my favourite. So anyway, I'm going to take a look at the waffles now, see how they're cooking. You see these ones are a little small. But that's okay. Anyway, they're cooking well. They're not ready yet. They'll be ready soon. And guys, you can also have them with berries, like raspberries and blueberries, which are absolutely delicious. I'm going to sneak one. Mm. Rockers. I think that's my timer going off. So uh, uh, let's take a look. They look quite good. I think they're ready. So I'm going to use a Time. But I am doing a big serving dish, I just realised. Here we go, big serving dish. Okay, as you can see, I'm not, these aren't perfect, but they're alright. Okay, and now we're on to the next one. I'm just going to butter them this up a little. Uh, well, just so you don't stick at all. Okay, can you take another one? It's going to possibly be a bit larger this time. larger and set the timer for two minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to show you what to do with these waffles. So, take your two waffles and, okay, I'm going to do, a, I'm going to do two different ones. So first, you take some jam put a, a, a little bit on, a little bit, and if it just goes in the hole, just doesn't matter, just a, a scoop it out, and you can spread it if you want, you can scoop the jam out of the hole to spread it other places, and then, and you can, and it's perfect, okay, that, and now, this is the fun bit, Shake your cream, make sure it's shaken. Shake it up. And then, and this is the fun part. Just move that apart, and here we go. There you go. Now, that is what I call a waffle, everyone. That is a good waffle. 
Now, thanks for watching and please comment down below of what you want me to do next time. And I will see you guys in the next video. Toodles.